Morning world, welcome to Tuesday, 9th of May. Um, I'm on my way to Stonehouse to look at a big tree at a school, and then I'm on my way to the Arbor Association to go and pick up some bits and bobs from them. And then we're back to the farm, and I'll show you what the guys have been doing with the little branch logger. Right. Let's go see if they've got this thing running. Fingers crossed. Did you get it going? It's just got a few spark plugs. We've got spark plugs out now, Bill, but you try it again. Oh. Cleaned everything up. No goey? No. I know he was a pig to start last time, but I thought I was end of the um, old fuel. Oh, he took that out. Martin stuck the tube. Did he? Oh, yeah, he did. Yeah. Hmm. Put some new stuff in. Yeah. Not the old crap isn't actually far away. Yeah. You just take the fuel pipe off, it's definitely running. Is it? Pretty much yeah. the whole thing we hear about. But also, you see, it, we took this off as well, too. Took the fans off as well, didn't we? So. You see, look, there's a little reservoir underneath there, and that's, that's full of fuel, but you obviously can't see it. But, yeah. But I didn't know if that was like a bleeder thing there, but it do not seem to work. You know, if you take that screw out there and. Yeah. Oh yeah, it looks like it, did it? Yeah. But nothing moves in there. We try to put the blower on it. That was a blower on it. Yeah. Nothing. Nothing. All oh, right. Okay. A little spark went out, sir. Yeah, little, little spark went there. Hmm. All right. So no go with that little Vanguard engine. I reckon um, diaphragm of the jets are bunged up. Probably wants going in a ultrasonic bath. So it's pointless us doing it anymore. So I think it's going to go off to our machinery dealer. He can take the carb off, put it through an ultrasonic bath, put it back together. Fingers crossed, that'll do it. So it's my own fault for leaving the thing with stale fuel in it for years. That's better. I can see the neighbor's chimney now. Ah, keep him happy. The shore point of view will already know that between ourselves and the cottage next door, my neighbours, I keep a stand of trees just to give them some privacy from us and us some privacy from them. But the last thing they want is great big trees right outside their windows. Although it's north facing, we're not taking any direct sunlight. But uh, yeah, I said to the guys, they finished what they were doing in the shed earlier. We'll come in and we'll just take the tops off this tree line again. It's, it's just being neighbourly, really. Hey? Have you left your helmet in there, have you? Might have been off of your helmet. God. around here and top this thing. Oh dear. There's a munt jack flying around in here. There's a little munt jack flying around in here. Yeah. Little deer, yeah. Well, the deer, yeah, a little doe, I've seen her flying around in there. Oh. All right, 
Yeah, go and have the tops out of these as well. I think we'll probably have take the tips out of those oaks as well. Just bring it down so it's sensible. She might still be in there. Yeah, she came flying out of here, smashed into the foot fence, <laughs> and then went back in there again. I think Mr. Pierce frightened her. Yeah. That's right, as long as the dogs don't find her. 245. Where did this come from? Is that that um is that the route from that little tree you dug up the other day? Yeah, yeah. Ah. There's only one going into the Yeah, he's girdled up. So Okay. Don't the, chip that, I wanna I wanna look at that, I'll cut him open. That was the uh, Oh the one from up at um Burgess? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah, just don't chip that one. I want to no. have a look at that. Yeah, yeah. Get well dirty, yeah, don't get wealth dirty. Right, they can go on with that. Apparently, sort of quote coming on the phone, so business not that busy. I better go and return the call.